Hey guys, it's Alicia here, and in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I wanted to come up with a quick, easy little turkey project that you could do at home on your own using Autodesk Tinkercad. It might look like a complicated piece to create, but we're gonna break it down into simple shapes that so that you can do it on your own, and hopefully it'll feel really rewarding at the end once you've finished it. We're going to start off our turkey by using the egg shape for the body. You can find this down in the extras panel, way at the bottom. So drag your egg shape out and bring it to the middle of the work plane. I'm also going to resize it so that it's about 40 millimeters, and then use the grid to make sure that it's lined up in the middle. Next I'm going to pull it up and drag out a chick foot and bring it under the egg shape. I'm going to resize this so that it's about 20 millimeters and then I'm going to duplicate it by holding down the alt key and dragging it over to the other side. And I'm going to use the grid to make sure that they're evenly spaced apart. And I also want to rotate them out about 45 degrees. If you hold down shift while you're rotating it'll snap to 45. Now we can grab the egg shape and pull it down until the legs are fit snugly inside of the body. And next, we're gonna grab a cylinder from the geometry panel for the neck. So I'm gonna scale this down uniformly to about 12 millimeters. And I'm gonna grab this little white dot up at the top and drag it up to lengthen the neck. Now I'm gonna rotate it and this one, I'm gonna go with about 30 degrees and using this black arrow, I'll pull it up and also move it back so that it, the end of it is inside of the egg shape. I also wanna make sure that it is centered and you can use this little box down at the bottom on the grid to make sure that it is. Next, we'll need a second egg shape for the turkey's head. So grab that egg and bring it out onto the work plane. And this one we can scale way down and I'm also going to make it a little bit shorter and rotate it so that the smaller end is pointing slightly down. Now I'm going to drag it up and position it right over the end of that cylinder. And I'm going to check it in both directions to make sure that it is centered. And I'm also going to grab all these body parts and make them all a light brown color. Next, we're gonna grab the paraboloid for the beak, and that can be found in the geometry panel right here. And you can shrink it down to whatever size you think looks good. I'm gonna make mine about, let's try 10 millimeters, and rotate it 90 degrees. Drag it up and center it. And that looks good to me, so I'm going to color this yellow. And now, for the eyes, I will grab a sphere, and I'm going to shrink this one down to about 7 millimeters, but you can make it as big as you want. And I'm also going to make mine black. And I'm going to drag it up, and then holding down Alt, I'm going to duplicate this and drag it over to the other side. And now we have our eyes. Now, the last part of the face that we need to make is the fleshy part of the turkey's beak that hangs down right here. Um, fun fact, this body part of the turkey is called a snood. And to make the snood, we're gonna get another egg shape. And this one, we're gonna make much smaller. And we're also going to lengthen it and flatten it out a little bit. And we can color this one red and just drag it over to the turkey's face and it looks like mine's a little too big so I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit maybe make it a little smaller in this direction and uh, drag it up to the side of the turkey's beak and just push it in so that you can't really see the top of the egg shape too much and it should be looking like it's coming out of the beak and the wider end will be hanging down towards the bottom. Now for the wings. Again, we're gonna grab the paraboloid shape 
and I'm gonna make this a little bit taller and flatten it out by scaling it down in this direction. Now I'm gonna rotate it and let's make this a brown color and drag it over to the side of the turkey's body. And just make sure that the end of it is inside of the egg shape of the body. And now we're gonna hold down Alt and duplicate this to the other side and then rotate it. Finally, we're gonna create the turkey's feathers. So to do this, I'm gonna grab a sphere and I'm going to pull it way up and I also wanna flatten it in one direction quite a bit. We'll go with about six millimeters for now. And you can shorten it uh, width-wise as well if you'd like. And now I'm gonna drag this to the back of the turkey and move it up a bit. And we also wanna rotate it backwards just a bit. Maybe not a full 22 degrees, but something around 15 looks good to me and I'm just gonna make sure that this is centered so it's a little uneven on both sides. I'm just gonna pull this side in one to make sure, make sure it's even. And now, to get the rest of the feathers, all we're gonna do is hold down Alt and duplicate this feather by rotating it slightly and then moving it over. And I'm gonna color this one orange. And we can do the same process. Hold Alt, rotate it, and two more. I will hold down Alt, rotate this one. Might need to move it down some. So I'm gonna duplicate this one over. And there you have it. So the last thing I wanna do before we call it done is just check and make sure our turkey is balanced by looking at it from the side. So the feet should be positioned relatively in the center of the overall body. Make sure they aren't too close to the front or the back of the turkey, that way he doesn't topple over. Select all the pieces and use the square at the bottom as a guide to see how off-center the feet are. These ones actually look pretty good. And that's it. So be sure to save your work and download your turkey as an STL file for 3D printing. Fantastic job working on this turkey figurine. I hope you really took the time to personalize your design and really make it your own. Be sure to share your work with us here on Kira Kira and browse the site for more videos and lessons. That said, happy Thanksgiving and thank you for watching.